all welcome to the new video so today we will discuss the main topics for devops that are required for interview preparation so let's go guys this we are discussing today because the problem that i also felt when i was preparing for interview so i just got the topic like i have to prepare docker i know i should know kubernetes i should know terraform but when you see and start studying for it online so the course is so vast but when i gave the interview i know i came to know that not all the things are required in an organization and not all the things is uh, like they don't desire that you should know all the things but whatever you are telling in your uh, resume uh, telling and whatever you have written in your resume that should be prepared well so i just uh, there were many uh, questions also like how much time uh, will it take for us to become job ready for devops everything so i just thought ki let's put some major topics from all the tools so that you just pick up that topic start preparing for it prepare some scenario based question and you are good to go just start giving interviews i don't say that you don't need hands on for that yes of course you need hands on but when it comes that what all questions can be asked and what all, on what all topics in interview then you should not know you should be well aware that where you have to put your efforts and where not because sometimes the the course is so vast that we sometimes are we are putting efforts in a wrong direction and because of which we are not getting results and that is frustrating so that's why i have given all the top tools topic so that you pick up that topic start preparing for it go to other topics start preparing for it i'll also give all this in description box too i hope uh, it's helpful for everyone so let's go so first of all in devops fundamental you should know the ci cd you should know the iac you should know configuration management like ansible monitoring and logging not very deep that's what i meant to say see when i'm saying monitoring and logging it's not that you should uh, know every tool and all the things in monitoring and logging for that purpose only i have brought this video so that what all topic you should know from all these containers and orchestration agile and devops culture because uh, yeah so let's go first we start with cloud providers so focus on at least one but no basics of all like in aws uh, if you are focusing like you can tell in interview that my major work is on aws cloud or my major work is on azure or gcp cloud in whatever cloud you are comfortable with and but you should know that in azure also you should uh, i don't say that you should know every all the cloud but you should be flexible enough that you can work on multi cloud and you know the services of multi cloud so in aws ec2 s3 im vpc cloud watch code pipeline ecs eks lambda then a little bit for of databases databases if you know and if you have worked on similarly here to postgresql flexible database so that you should know in azure vm blob storage azure devops aks database gcp again compute engine jkey cloud build stack driver then in ci cd tools you can pick up see most of the companies nowadays are using github actions gitlab ci because in my uh, project also it is github actions but if you know any one of the ci cd tool you can easily adapt to other tool so you just pick any one tool my from uh, see i knew jenkins but 
like i am getting a project where it, github actions they are working on github actions so i have to explore that but lit, everything is same little bit changes are there but most of the basic things are same so key concepts that you know that how our pipelines are built like declarative their syntax their plugins how they are built what are the stages that you should know how we are storing the artifacts how we are doing rollbacks and canary deployments webhooks and trigger how it is getting triggered how these pipelines are getting triggered this you should know because in majorly what interviewers are expecting they last question on these topics then in version control system the branches merge rebase pull request also they ask that if you have encountered any merge conflicts and how have you solved it then what is a branching strategy git workflows git flow trunk based development what is there what branching strategy you are following that they can ask in configuration management tool uh, you can pick any one of it i did ansible you should know how to write a playbook and what are the major components of uh, ansible uh, that i'll mention basically they'll focus on ansible uh, components and everything if you want to cover ansible also i have made video on it you can go and refer that too then monitoring and logging so in monitoring and logging any monitoring tool you can pick and you can also you tell any cloud native tools you have used and then you can tell about like uh, you should uh, know the matrices what are matrices what are alerts how alerts are getting generated and if alerts are getting generated how they are fixed how they are handled are you sending mail so all this you should know like not very deep but yeah little bit you should be aware of then containers and orchestration so uh, what is docker then how what how docker image is created how containers are created what are what are docker volumes how is networking done in docker how to write a docker file in kubernetes what are what are pods what are deployment services config map secret you know how to write the manifest file kubectl commands helm ingress all this uh, like load balancers services it comes in services only so i should not write it it comes in services only so docker compose so mostly docker compose you can neglect also but somewhere not not very much but earlier docker uh like this is not very much required docker compose uh, but yeah they may ask that what is the difference between docker compose and docker file uh you know what is docker swarm but yeah not that much also but yeah they can ask the difference and all then infrastructure as code so infrastructure as code like uh what is terraform mostly terraform is used cloud formation if you are focusing on aws mode so what is the syntax what are modules uh, what is state what are providers how you do you know um, uh, how you save your terraform state file uh, provisioning infrastructure immutable they may ask you to write and all security and compliance so secret management so in security and compliance you should know secret management like vault aws secret manager devsecops because industry is looking for people who know how to secure uh, their infrastructure their pipelines permissions then yeah static dynamic analysis tools as and das but most of the organization they have separate security team but if you know little bit about security that will be good then soft skill and process it means that you should uh, be good in like problem solving like they will ask you have you worked on any major issue in your organization what is the you know agile tool you are using what how are the sprint over in your organization so the debugging mindset should be there so the most important thing is linux topics for devops 
So I have given all the commands like basic Linux command ls cd pwd mkdi rmcp mv dfdu pro process management command file and text manipulation command like grep box set package management like in debian we use apt rhl we use yum networking commands like ip if config curl wget ns lookup user and group management like user add user mode this is for adding users creation of users and managing them in groups system monitoring and logs like var.log uptime vm start chrome tab and scheduling disk and file system like mount lsblk dfdu so all the commands i have given you can read more about all this all these commands you can practice them in bash uh, shell shell scripting topics that you should know what is a shebang line how are variables defined how to read input from the user you know what are the script arguments like dollar one dollar two dollar dollar one is for the first argument then dollar two is for the second argument then uh taking argument uh you know all the argument as one string taking argument uh, uh one by one so conditional statement you should know like how to use if else lf looping you should know functions how to call functions then error handling how to handle the error so dollar question mark the exit code like if it is a zero exit code it means successful if there is non-zero then it's non successful it's an error working with files reading writing files looping two lines in a file arrays a uh, useful command in grips like grep org that how to format and everything Debug debugging script so set hyphen x practical scripts that we can that you can write like uh, that you can practice log file rotation disk usage alert service health check like ping or curl automatic automated backups okay interview tip is like what what script because they will majorly as like what all shell scripting have you written so you can tell some script if you haven't and you have self-learn and did some hands-on you can try writing script like to monitor disk usage and send an alert how would you automate deploying a package or service update uh you know uh, a patching or something of servers that you can write so these are some uh you know topics these are all the topics that you should cover you should select the topic search for it and start learning it that's all and once you are done you will be mostly you will be done uh, for the job uh, interview for devops interview specific prep is practice common scenario based question there are a lot of videos understand high level architecture design be ready to discuss your past projects and tools because that i have already told you they will ask be prepared for hands-on tests like they will be asking you to write the jenkins files the docker file or some terraform script they can ask you or some shell script they can ask you to write so be uh, prepared for hands-on writing too so i'll give all these topics in description box so that it is very easy for you for all of you to just prepare for your interviews so that's all for today's video i hope uh, you find it useful and let me know your views in the comment section till then take care bye